Welcome, welcome. As you tune in, let me know where you're tuning in from. I have some things in my heart that I want to share with y'all. And that, that are honestly just so concerning and so disturbing. And as a mother of boys, and as someone who went through abuse and molestation, as a child, I feel the need to speak out on. What I'm seeing is the left coming up with new tactics because they are losing the battle left and right. And the new tactic has become bring women from someone's past and accuse the men of rape, of assault, of whatever is going to make their case. I'm honestly sick to my stomach that this is a thing in this country. I am terrified for my boys because when women can come forth and say they raped me 30 years ago, that is taken as a fact. Where is the due process? Where is the you are innocent until proven guilty? The other day I just read an article of a man that spent six years in jail for a rape that he did not commit. The woman lied about it. He spent six years in jail. Let me tell you something. You make something like that up to ruin someone's life. You deserve to go to jail. The same sentence that they would have gotten for rape or whatever it is that you're claiming when you fabricate a story to ruin someone's life. You should pay the penalty for that. I love it when I commented on someone's wall yesterday and I said it's very convenient that this man, Judge Kavanaugh, has been a judge for, what, 20 years? Zero accusations, zero allegations, zero of anybody coming forth saying a single thing. He gets appointed by Trump into the Supreme Court. All of a sudden, my amnesia is no longer amnesia. All of a sudden, I remember because my attorney has ties to Clinton. There are these, ah, oh, these Clintons. My heavens. Okay. Breathe. They're in everything. They're behind every single move the left makes. They have paid everybody. Dr. Ford's GoFundMe account having $500,000 in it. All of a sudden, I don't have amnesia anymore. Why? Because Kavanaugh is going to overturn abortion. Now, the left is crazy, like, well, Twitter and we're ready. And if you think we're going to idly sit by, you've been warned. You've been warned of what? Do you not forget who owns the weapons in this country? It is the right. It's not the left. So what are you talking about that y'all are ready for what? For what? What are you ready for? Civil war? Explain to me what the left is ready for. Because if you don't recall correctly, the right is the one that owns all the guns. So you come, you and however many of you come with your little plastic forks, and you tell us how that's going to go down. And then you're going to find out why the Civil War happened to begin with. And if you think that they could not be a Civil War again, you are sadly mistaken. Because the right is very patient. It's up to $900,000 now, her GoFundMe account. The right is very patient. The right will not make the first move. But the right will not be intimidated. 
The right will not sit back and watch you bring false accusations because you have a political agenda. For you to tell me that you don't have a political agenda and for 20 years when this man was a judge, you did not come forth all of a sudden, your amnesia is gone. And guess what? The Clintons are behind it. But you have no political agenda whatsoever. Same thing with the porn star that came forth with President Trump. I'm just, I am, it must be the water. The water is making people not have amnesia anymore. That must be what's going on. I am terrified for my sons that someone can say, he raped me 20 years ago and it is taken as a fact and they're believed because they're a woman. That is insanity to me, America. That should be insane to you as well. Because if you're a woman and you have daughters, that's okay. But guess what? Your daughters are going to have boys one day. And for everyone to take as fact, when a woman says they raped me, they did this, they did that or the other, there is no due process. It is a fact that Dr. Ford's attorney has ties to Hillary Clinton. That is a fact. That is not made up. That is a fact. The fact that this woman has been paid to do what she has done is a fact. Follow the money. Follow the money. But here's the thing, I'm not here to convince you left or right. I'm here to share my beliefs as someone who did endure being molested and abused as a child. I didn't wait 30 years to come forth and say something to somebody. I certainly wouldn't have waited for the man that raped me to get a nomination to the Supreme Court and all of a sudden I want to ruin his life when he was a judge and you could have done something about it. You could have gone to the FBI a very long time ago. But you didn't. And then you have the left who does, does not want him appointed because they know that he's going to overturn abortion. And they have even said ridiculous things like millions would die if Kavanaugh becomes Supreme Court Justice. Millions will die? Really laughed? Like you are that delusional? Like the fluoride in the water is working. Now, for those of you that think that it's just we should take, you know, face value at the words that women say when they accuse somebody of something at some point in time because they're the victim. Because they're terrified that women are not gonna come forth anymore. See, but I don't let fear drive me and fear does not drive the due process of this country. What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. We encourage women to come forward at any point in time. What we will not encourage is false accusations taken as facts. That is not what we're gonna encourage in this country. And I'm gonna end with this. I have a 16 year old son and I've told him, the day you make a wrong decision and that decision lands you in jail, if that ever happens, if that decision lands you in jail and it was your fault by your actions and your choices, I can promise you one thing. Number one, two actually, I can promise you two things. Number one, I will love you unconditionally, but I will not bail you out. I will not bail you out. You will pay the consequences for your choices. See, we need to teach boys the same things we're teaching girls. 
You say what you need to say and don't be afraid of anybody. Speak the truth and teach our boys if you ever and our daughters do something that is against the law and it is your fault and you violated the law, you will pay for it. I will not bail you out. That's not going to happen. So choose wisely. Because if you think mommy and daddy are going to come bail you out, you are mistaken. Now, if it's something that you didn't do and you were accused wrongly, whatever, I'm all for it. But I will never, I have daughters too, three of them. I will never take someone's just because they said it and they claim to be a victim, their word for it, and there is no investigation, there is no corroboration, there is actually no facts other than a heartfelt story. Because that's not what this country is about. That's not what this country was founded on. And it's not the way that this country will continue to operate. That is why Kavanaugh needs to be appointed as justice. Because this bogus investigation of Russia and President Trump needs to end. And the right people that need to be investigated, like Hillary Clinton, for selling uranium to the Russians. That is the real investigation. Okay? That needs to take place. This whole charades of President Trump colluded with Russia, it is all to divert your attention from the real person who colluded with Russia, and her name is Hillary Clinton. But if we just divert the, the, the American people to believe that President Trump colluded with Russia, and he's under investigation. How come Hillary Clinton is not under investigation? And the, the Department of Justice report concluded that the Hillary Foundation had crimes committed against children. Why is she not being investigated? Oh, but her time is coming. Hold up your, hold on to your horses because her time is coming. But President Trump, though, having zero evidence, is being investigated for colluding with Russia. Now, Kavanaugh is being investigated because someone just doesn't have amnesia anymore and she is like, she is just so strong to come forth at this time and just give her testimony. She's full of baloney. She is lying. She has been paid off by the left because they know that Kavanaugh in office as a justice means abortion ends, means your right to murder your child ends which I'm very thankful for. This has been the biggest circus I have ever seen in my entire life since President Trump became a president. Like, it is just a never-ending farce from the left to get President Trump out. Why? Because he's not a globalist. Because he's going against their, their agenda. Because he's destroying the plans of the elite. He's going to bring them to justice. And they want him out at whatever measures. The same thing they're doing to Kavanaugh. We want him out. However we can get that. We'll bring someone from their childhood to come up and say they did drugs when they were in their crib. Like whatever they can do. They're desperate. They're sick. And they're disgusting. I am terrified for my boys, and so should you be. Because if Kavanaugh is not appointed as justice because someone can lie, that changes everything for everybody on, in this country. It's going to be a sad, sad day. I don't believe that's going to happen. I believe that he will become justice. And the left is going to lose it, just so you know. The left is going to lose it. Be ready for that. But here's the thing. If you are the far left and you're going to dish out, okay, some threats, make sure you dish them out to the correct side, okay? Like the left dish out threats against the left so y'all can fight with your little straws and forks and the eco-friendly straws, Okay? Don't come dish out threats to the right. The gun owners. The NRA members. Okay? Like, don't do that. Because that's foolery. Maybe you don't know the difference between being wise and foolish. But that's a foolish thing to say. If you think that you're going to come marching down our streets 
And do what, homie? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing. You're going to do nothing. You're going to cry and whine and need a, a safety closet with your little blanket and crayons and hot chocolate. That's what you're going to need. Because we're taking this country back, whether you like it or not.